The fastest way to build up forms is to use the first block as a jig and assemble the other blocks on top of it. Connectors snap into place on the web's locking tabs. When you hear the click, you know it's secure. On standard panels, two rows of connectors are generally used, except on the bottom course. The first row is placed along the second from the bottom set of locking tabs. The second row of connectors is placed along the top row of locking tabs. It's a good practice to double-check the block by looking down each row of connectors to make sure they're all snapped into place. Because the bottom of the form experiences the greatest pressure when placing concrete, it is a good practice to use three rows of connectors on the first course of standard forms. The three connectors are placed on the bottom, middle, and top locking tabs. The structural integrity of EcoBlock enables it to be cut to almost any special dimensions the plans might require. For most vertical cuts, a folding handsaw is the fastest and most convenient tool to use. The grooves on the outside of the forms are ready-made cutting guides in one-inch increments. Looking at the upper edge of the block, you'll find that if your vertical cuts are on the groove, the course-to-course -course locks will automatically line up. Staying on the groove also means that you will not be cutting through one of the webs. So to keep it simple, most contractors choose to adjust the plan slightly when required to make sure they're cutting on one-inch increments. It's also a good idea to make your vertical cuts just a hair short. This keeps you from having to wedge a form into place. Forcing in a form that's too tight chances throwing other blocks out of alignment, distorting the wall. For speed, lateral cuts are usually made with a power saw, although it's certainly not required. If you're cutting just a few blocks, using a 1x4 as a straight edge and a skill saw is the common way to go. For long runs, a light table saw is usually the tool of choice. The wall is usually planned such that the short block are on the top course. When this is the case, measure from the bottom of the block to preserve the locking groove. If, for some reason, additional courses will be laid on top of a laterally cut block, measure from the top to preserve the locking edge. Notch the bottom to fit snugly onto the locking edge of the course below. Use a table saw with a three-quarter inch dado blade or make two cuts with a standard blade and remove the foam by hand. Some builders use a router and jig with a three-quarter inch channel blade. Notching enables you to make two half-high blocks from a full block with no waste. There are three important things to remember when planning your cuts. Make sure that the webs line up vertically in the wall. This is important to maintain the optimum flow of concrete into the cavity once the form is complete and keeps the attachment surfaces on the finished wall in line. Think 2x2. Two two. A cut eco-block form will maintain its structural integrity without additional bracing if it is at least two connectors high and two webs long. If you go under 2x2, two two, some reinforcement will be required before placing concrete. If a cut is going to leave more than 8 inches between adjacent webs when the form is in place, you'll need to reinforce the seam.